So a couple of videos ago, we discussed setting up our brooders for our coming birds. We have meat birds coming, we have egg layers coming, additional egg layers coming, we have um, more ducks coming. Today, we're going to set up a habitat for an altogether different kind of critter. So stay tuned. Just trying to find my razor blade, my X-Acto knife, or my Leatherman, and of course I can't find them anywhere, so we're gonna use my doll kitchen, not kitchen, my doll workshop scissors. I really should get a new pair. It would make my life a lot easier. I have no idea which box is which, so we're just gonna kinda cut them open and see what's inside. If you like this kind of content where a first year farmer finds herself in over her head, like and subscribe. No, we got boxes inside of boxes. That's what we got. This may not even be the box I'm looking for. So we'll see. I can't find a label. Which makes me wonder if it was taken outside of a taken out of a bigger bigger box. I have no idea. Oh, this is this is this is what we need. Well, maybe not for today, but we're on the right track. We have my beekeeper jacket, my cool long gloves, my hive tool, and my smoker. Awesome. These are gonna go in my workshop. I'm gonna have to get another bucket. I've been making buckets for various critters and the accoutrement required to take care of said critters. I think these are probably my frames, but we'll make sure. That's our second project for today. Our first project is to assemble Okay, it looks like this is my super and my frames for said super. This box right here contains two deeps, two, uh, two deeps, a super, and a bunch of frames. All of which we need to get together, assembled, before, well, we have about two days. You see, my bees have a 10 day window and I'm about two days into that 10 day window as to when they will arrive. Um, they're coming from California. Um, the guy I bought them from overwinters his hives there. Um, queen excluder. I have, uh, I got them from him specifically because they are a form of honeybee that was developed in northern Canada, which means they're hardier for colder environments. And these guys have a, uh, a Varroa mite resistance. Not really a resistance, but they, they're they really good at detecting Varroa mites in larvae. Um, and they'll just chunk them on out of the uh, hive before they hatch. I'm separating all the frame parts because I really wanna work on the boxes first and then have the frames to have something to put them in. So I went with an eight frame Langstroth hive um, built by Hoover Hives. Um, I just, I was really impressed with the uh, the reviews and the construction. I mean, these are some really solidly built hives and I love the fact that instead of being varnished or painted, they're, they're waxed, they're coated with beeswax. Um, which I think is really cool. I'm still trying to find my instructions. Okay, they sent me nails, which is cool. So the kit I bought comes with two brood boxes, two deeps, and one medium super. And I went ahead and bought a second medium super so I would have it to add on as I needed to. Um, which is pretty cool. Still looking for instructions. I mean, I have a pretty good idea of how this goes together, but I like to make sure 
I don't know, you know, I don't break anything or mess anything up. Uh, there's my lid. It's really nice. But no instructions. I remember seeing instructions online, so I'm gonna consult my phone. I know they're durable. I am so afraid of breaking something. So I got my first box, my deep, assembled. Now it's time to wash, rinse, repeat. I hope the next ones go together a little more easily. So this is two deeps and one super, all assembled. I still have a whole bunch of frames to do, um, but I don't think the bees are coming today or tomorrow because it's supposed to thunderstorm all day tomorrow, which means I can spend tomorrow plugging away at assembling frames. I, uh, I made a, mi a mistake. I bought five eighths of an inch um, brad nails and what I really needed was one inch to assemble the frames. So, no big deal. We'll use the other brad nailers, or the other brad nails, but right now, that I mean, I'm pretty pleased with it. I think it turned out really well um, for my first beehive. <laughs> so, um, I'll check back with you guys tomorrow when I finish the frames, and we'll be ready for the bees. We'll get it all set up. Don't you hate when they make packaging adult-proof? I'm like, I'm just gonna cut this apart, but, there's nowhere to stick any kind of cutting implement without damaging the frames. Good times. So this is day two of the beehive build and it's all about the frames. And really we're concentrating, since we're not gonna be putting our super out anytime soon, we're concentrating on the brood boxes, the deeps. We're going to be working on some deeper brood frames today. Which I guess you know the brood frames when you see them because they're black. We have 16 of them to build. And then we will be ready for the bees. Well, not really ready for the bees. Tomorrow when it's sunny, I'm going to have to take them out, put them on the bee stand. Um, build the beehive stand put them out on the beehive stand.
Ta-da! I hope this helps for anybody who is a newbie, like I am, completely novice, never done this before. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you just kind of have to feel things out. And find a beekeeper club. That has been the best thing I could have done for myself. I am now a member of the Mid Mitten, Mitten uh, Beekeepers Association. So that's, that's exciting. Back to frame building. So we built a little platform out of cinder blocks and a pallet. I don't know if you could see in this video, but it's mid-April and it is snowing out. Nevertheless, the bees come tomorrow, whether I like it or not. Fingers crossed. And there we go, we have one deep in the field, ready for bees tomorrow. So I've been driving for about an hour and a half, and I'm about to pick up a really angry buzzy box. Stay tuned. So, I have my box. They're not as loud as I thought they would be. They're actually very quiet. They sound like soda pop bubbles, but that's because they're all the way in the trunk of the hatchback. Um, the guy I bought them from is super, super sweet. He, uh, he gave me a frame of drawn combs so that uh, they have a good start. Which was, he didn't have to do that, he did. He said that he's in the business of promoting bees, not just selling them. And I, I thought that was really kind and lovely. So I, I Everett laughs at me because when a company or business gives me really exceptional service and has a really exceptional product, I'm incredibly loyal to them. And he's like anyone, he's like any business you like, he's like you could you could be a a brand representative or a brand ambassador for them because you just speak so highly of them. So um Shout out to the guys at AWS Bees in Schwartz Creek, Michigan. They are lovely and um, I will be buying all of my bees from you as long as you're in business. And I have to buy bees again. One of the other things he told me is not to install my bees right away. Um, it is really chilly here today. It is in the 40s and it is going to be in the 20s tonight. That is not conducive to uh, to a good start for a beehive, um, especially one that's been traveling across country. These guys came from California, so um, he said to keep them in a nice, warm, insulated room. Well, you know, like a garage or something. But I'm gonna put them in my grow room um, where I've been rooting my chickens because the temperature is right where it should be to make them happy and we'll probably install them on Thursday because it's going to be much warmer. Like anything I do, this is not a how-to. This is I'm learning with you. Don't do it at home unless of course it works. And then by all means, do that thing. So this is our first day of really warm, temperate weather. And from what I've read, these guys aren't swarming, they're orientating themselves to the beehive. I hope that's the case. I would be really sad if they decided they hated it and left after everything we've been through together. Please stay bees. I love you. <laughs> 